Quadratic polynomials p of x and q of x have leading coefficients of 2 and negative 2, respectively. The graphs of both polynomials pass through the two points 1654 and 2053. Find p of 0 plus q of 0. So what are we given here? We are given two quadratic polynomials, quadratic meaning the leading term is an x squared term, and their leading coefficients are 2 and negative 2. So what, what do we have? We have p of x is equal to 2x squared plus something, right? Leading coefficient is 2, and it's an x squared term. Similarly, q of x is negative 2x squared plus something. Um, both of them, 2x squared plus something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put variables for the other coefficients. I'm going to make this one 2x squared plus ax plus b, and this one's going to be negative 2x squared plus cx plus d. You see that we have constructed two polynomials that satisfy the problem statement p of x, um, quadratic leading coefficient of 2, q of x, quadratic leading coefficient of negative 2. What else are we given? We are given that the graphs of both polynomials pass through the two points 1654 and 2053. What does that mean? It means p of 16 is equal to q of 16 is equal to 54, and p of 20 is equal to q of 20 is equal to 53. And this, this is just because if you plug in 16 to p of x, you get 54. If you plug in 16 to q of x, you get 54. That's why the point 16, 54 is on both p, x, and q, x. And similarly, p of x and q of x for 20 are both 53. You're given all this information. You want to find p of 0 plus q of 0. What is p of 0? It's when you plug in x equals 0, you get p of 0 is, um, let me write this down, p of 0 is 2 times 0 squared plus 0a plus b. This becomes 0, this becomes 0, you're just left with b. Similarly, q of 0 is equal to d because uh, negative 2x squared becomes 0 and cx becomes 0 when x is equal to 0. So. What you want to find is p of 0 plus q of 0, which is b plus d. b plus d. So now we're ready to start. And so we have p of 16, q of 16, p of 20, q of 20. And let's see what happens when you plug in 16 to this thing and that thing. You're going to get p of 16, which is 2 times 16 squared, plus a times x, which is 16, so 16a plus b is equal to 54. Um, you, from q of x, q of 16, you get, from this one, you get that negative 2 times 16 squared plus 16c plus d is equal to 54. You have p of 20 and q of 20 are both 53. So let's plug in 20 into this and that um, to get 2 times 20 squared plus 20a plus b is equal to um, 53. You're also given negative 2 times 20 squared plus 20c plus d is equal to 53 as well. You have these four equations. And from this, you want to find b plus d. And you could go ahead and solve these two for a and b. You could go ahead and solve these two for c and d. But I'm going to do something different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just add these two. And I'm going to add these two. And we're going to see what you get. You're going to get, um, let's add the two left-hand sides first. 2 times 16 squared plus 16a plus b plus this um, negative 2 times 16 squared plus 16c plus d is equal to the right-hand sides sum, which is 54 plus 54, or 108. Guess what? Magic happens. Negative 2 times 16 squared and 2 times 16 squared add up to 0. You are left with 16a plus b plus 16c plus d is 108. And I can go one step further. I can group up because a plus c, 16a plus c plus b plus d equal to 108. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add these two equations up. Um, so the left-hand side of this one becomes 2 times 20 squared plus 20a plus b minus 2 times 20 squared plus 20c plus d. 
Um, same thing happens. Um, this is equal to 53 times 2 is 106. Same thing happens with the 2 times 20 squared and the negative 2 times 20 squared. They both cancel out. You are left with 20A plus B plus 20C plus D is 106. And we do the same thing we did with the previous one. Group the A and the C together. 20A plus C plus B plus D is equal to 106. So what we have now is we've reduced the system of um, four equations into two equations, system of two equations. In terms of actually, you can call this two variables because, um, some, because you have one coefficient times a plus c plus another coefficient times b plus d is 108. You have one coefficient times a plus c plus another coefficient times b plus d is 106. You can solve for b plus d. And the way you do that is you say, okay, so let um, we have 16 of a plus c plus b plus d is equal to 108. Um, 20 times a plus c plus b plus d is 106. Look at this, we can subtract the second equation from the first. Um, um, so what you end up with is negative four times a plus c plus b plus d minus b plus d is zero, plus zero is equal to 108 minus 106, which is two. Therefore, solve for a plus c, a plus c is two over negative four, so negative one half. What does that mean? Well, it means that you have, hey, look, look right here, you have 20 times a plus c plus, but since a plus c is negative a half, you have 20 times negative one over two plus b plus d, which is what we wanted to find, which is 106. So b plus d is equal to 106 plus 20 times negative one half, which is, um, well, it, it's, it's positive 10 because you're adding 10 to both sides, right? Because 20 times negative a half is negative 10. You add 10 to both sides to get rid of that stuff. Um, so B plus D is equal to 116. Um, so we are done. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.